Conrad'sCarClinic.com. Time now for Conrad's Car Clinic. All right. What's in the car clinic Well, it's today? a continuation of what we did a little bit last week, is uh, the life of Shelby. Yes. You know, so, you know, Shelby... Um, not only did the Cobras and the and the Ford GT and all the Shelby Mustangs and all of that, well, you got to remember Lee Iacocca at one point moved, and I think it was in the 70s, he's going to be in auto history as well. He moved to Chrysler. Well, he brought Shelby to Chrysler with him. And, uh, Shelby, That's right. And he, Shelby there, were built, some, there were some Shelby Chryslers. Yeah. Built a whole series of Chrysler-based uh, Shelby products, but they're not the, you know, to me, the Ford-based uh, Shelby products can be investment-grade vehicles. You know, you could buy one of those. It'd be a good investment. The Chrysler ones aren't. A lot of these are probably still selling in the ten to $15,000 range. First one was the 86 Shelby Omni GLHS. Uh, it was a modified uh, Dodge Omni, uh, and the changes made by the Shelby were they uh, retitled them as Shelby automobiles and sold them direct through Dodge dealerships, and GLH stood for Goes Like Hell, and then the S uh, stood <laughs> Goes Like Hell some more. Uh, everybody always thought everybody always thought it stood for Shelby, you know, just stood for some more. They made about 500 of them, and they all had dash plaques with a serial number and stuff. Uh, the upgrade to them was the uh, turbo four cylinder. Uh, they added they added a factory intercooler and increased the output to 175 horsepower. And that's uh, pretty good for that little tiny car. Yeah, and uh, 175 foot pounds of torque for that little car was quite a bit and that that little car would kind of get up and go that's a um, front wheel drive car isn't a it? little front wheel drive car and then they took that same engine and put it in the dodge shelby charger um later and uh that you know in the today's era of massive four-door chargers with hellcats and stuff it may be a little easier to remember this Dodge Charger. There's a couple of pictures of it. Um, you know, it wasn't really a popular car, but with the Shelby package on it, I think it was probably yeah. a, a decent driving car. Uh, and by then, it's still that same little 2.2 liter turbo. Had a pretty decent suspension upgrades, special wheels, and, and a lot of exterior trim upgrades to it as well. You Sh never see those anymore. No, no, no. Well, might be for a reason. You know, they, they weren't what I would consider a real high-quality car. Well, no, but, uh, you know, you would think that somebody would have saved one or two of them back mm -hmm. and put it on the show circuit because they're so rare. And, and that's that's what I think is, you know, again, that Shelby investment-grade vehicle. I think these may be on the edge of becoming investment-grade vehicles. So if you could find one, you might be yeah, able to get a good yeah, buy could, on one. That would be the key if you could find one because they're yeah. kind of Because the Shelby, the Shelby name is going to add value to it. And then Shelby also built in uh, 83 a Ram pickup truck. He only built a prototype of it, never sold them. Uh, never sold them retail, but you know, you know, and this is back in the day when they were building the uh, the SS four fifty four and the Ford Lightnings and stuff. And Shelby kind of jumped in the game, kind of proposed a uh, uh, a full size truck to uh, uh, Dodge, and they didn't go for the full size truck. What they did end up going to was the um, the Dakota. And Shelby built quite a few of these Dakota trucks. Uh, again, that was in the day that the uh, uh, GMC Cyclone, the SS454, and the Lightning Super Trucks Where were was all I? out there. I don't remember that. Oh, yeah, I, 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 I kind of remember these. They were more of a dress-up truck yeah. than they were, you know, a real high-performance yeah, truck. They, but they, they were out there, and they, you know, they caught your attention, mainly because they had the name Shelby on the side. Well, that and the, and the striping package and right. the way they, like you say, dressed them up. That's and then, ugly. And then after this, they did the uh, CSX with the variable nozzle turbo. Now, the variable nozzle turbo was unique in the industry back then, very common today on the diesels, but the VNTs. Um, and this one actually put out 205 foot-pounds of torque. Um, and again, a unique car. Uh, they didn't build very many of them. Uh, again, they only built about 500 of these. Um, and But again, talking about the Shelby, Shelby valuations, um, I think finding one of those might be something worthwhile because of the low production numbers. And then the final one uh, was the Shelby Lancer. Uh, and that was a bigger car than the CNX. 
or CSX. And again, with the Shelby branding, upgraded suspension, wheels and tires, and, and exterior uh, looks on it, it was more of a visual car than it was a high the performance Lancer, car. Lancer, isn't that a Mitsubishi? No. Well, at this point, it was, uh, it was you know, you got to remember... Dodge and Mitsubishi shared a lot of platforms That's right, together. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, this was called the, the Shelby Lancer, and again, that was a the 2.2 liter turbo with the intercooler and the upgraded uh, torque output and stuff. So, you know, if you're if you're interested in owning a Shelby, you might be able to find a value one in one of those Chrysler products. You can you can almost see the relationship of the Mustang body styling in, in some that, of those yes. as well because in, of Iacocca. In the upgrades. Yeah. yeah. The square body Mustang and then you got the Mazda front end Monza front end. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then uh, next week we're going to talk about Shelby did some GM products as well. Uh, I did not know interesting. that. Interesting. Really? Mm -hmm. Ground up GM products. Yeah, we'll talk about that. Wow. From a car company I loved. Still do. You go? <laughs> yeah. You go you go you go, you go Cola Wrecker. I'll wait it. here with the car. <laughs>